perfect. Let's take me on a tour of this thing. What does this thing do? Oh, okay, here we go. Come on. Right. So, what's inside this door? All right, inside this door, here you have a climate right system capable of supplying two heating hot water temperatures and also capable of maintaining two tanks of domestic hot water. It'll accept all of your solar thermal input mm -hmm. from up to, well there's no limit upon your solar arrays depending on your storage capacity, but it will manage all of the solar uh, thermal gain from your collectors and distribute it appropriately to your domestic hot water as well as your space heating. One of the few limitations of the solar thermal system really is one inch copper. And you know, conceivably with the right circulator, the right sizing, you can get up to 15 gallons a minute. Right. And there's a lot of solar thermal collectors that are now changing the way that they build them so that they're low flow, high, high delta, delta T, and you could have a 15 collector array and use one inch very easily. You could actually nice. do that, the, you know, the Shuko line and some of the other ones. Right. Um, and it saves on piping costs. It's beautiful. So this has actually a capacity to do a very large, this could actually go into a commercial laundry or a high domestic water production facility right. with solar thermal and a lot more storage than we have now. Right. 238 gallons is good, it's all domestic. 320 in closed pressurized tanks. Right. But if this was to go to an open system, there really is no limit on the amount of solar thermal storage that you can actually get. Right. Up to you know 15 or 20 four by eight collectors. It's a pretty That's wide range of service capability. Very robust, very robust capability. Inside the main control enclosure, this is our network controls variation. Here's all the relays that are yeah, actuate all of the all, uh, the, all the relays results. to energize the, their corresponding pumps mm -hmm. based on the logic that is programmed into these modules, which is all viewable via a web page, so it's accessible from any uh, computer with web access, also any mobile device with web access. You can view what's happening in the machine and also check its performance. And in a nutshell, there you have it. Yeah. This is the first unit that has a 15 inch touch panel PC graphical user interface. All of the schematics and all of the system alarms and all of the, the key information for identifying zones is all in a touch panel. We'll show that on another, another chapter. So these guys right now are taking off the fan control units, which is a Delta DAC plus pressure transducer, plus control transformer. And basically that attaches to the fan coil out in the field. This is all getting delivered tomorrow morning. Probably installed over the course of the next couple of months and we'll probably be up starting it up before the first big rains, hopefully, maybe by Halloween. Nice. They want to heat up the house and, you know, finish all of the sheetrock and all the floors and all of the the wood Wait. basically baking out and cooking out all of the the volatiles that they do actually end up having to use right and uh it'll be a lot more comfortable for the carpenters finishing this house in the middle of winter they can take their time and do a good job that's nice the pellet boilers you know they got a bunch of pellets yeah, what, what they really have is a bunch of rabbits in the back and they just go out there and goes from the for right from the rabbit shed nice. right into the boiler nice true efficiency yeah that's awesome and the stew is delicious <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs>